Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. It was a rare sight 20 years ago. In current resolution providing for the manner of appointing electors for president and vice president of the United States. The Florida House doing what Governor Ron DeSantis has been urging other legislatures to do. Use their constitutional power to order electors to vote for a specific candidate. This power is conferred upon the legislatures of the states by the Constitution of the United States. At the time, Democrats argued the effort was an attempt to steal the election. We will be disenfranchising every single voter. The House approved the resolution along party lines. 79 yeas, 41 nays. The Senate took a much more cautious approach. I was very concerned that um, Florida's actions might be used in the future as justification to certify the votes for uh, one presidential candidate or another. And what nearly happened here 20 years ago likely would have set a precedent for today's legislatures in contested states. Dan Gelber is now the mayor of Miami Beach. Had the Senate acted, I think it would be something that would not simply be a bad precedent, but there'd always be an urge uh, from one side or the other to impose its will over the will of, of the voters. And the window for state legislatures to vote is narrowing. Electors meet December 14th in every capital across the country. Reporting from the state capital, I'm Mike Vasilinda.